Sales and Marketing Director for the Pure Silk Bahamas Classic, John Marovich, says you can't put a price tag on the global exposure the Bahamas will be getting from this event. There's a lot of places for the economic development, and you know, in this case with tourism, is you know to expose the islands to a, a bigger audience. You know, we've got 108 players from 26 different countries that are coming to play. We've got over 38 media members from across the world, including Japan and um, Australia, and you know, in the states. So we've got a great media exposure that's coming. But then also, as, as alluded to before, we've got the 10 hours of live television broadcasts on the Golf Channel going to 110 different countries and all that, and it just shows the beauty of why it's better in the Bahamas. Marovich says the media will be in town from a number of countries, and not only will the world get to see our beautiful beaches as the backdrop to the tournament, but they will also have the opportunity to enjoy our culture and many of our exciting tourist attractions. We are working with tourism and we have some excursions going on to the other islands. Uh, we're going to Abaco, we're going to the Grand Bahamas, and we're also going to go to Exuma. And so we are bringing players and Golf Channel crew is going to go to Exuma and they're going to be swimming with the pigs. And that's all going to be incorporated into the broadcast and see it. So the players, yes, they do get to be exposed to the different things on islands, on the different islands. Uh, also throughout Paradise Island and Nassau, they're going to be able to go out and see different things out there and we have various tours for them and experience some of the different culture but um, it, it's great to expose that to everybody you know not only um, the players who are physically here but also to the world and you know all those different countries that you know will be viewing this tournament. Hey parents listen up organizers say that there's going to be quite a bit going on to keep the kids occupied so feel free to bring them out. On Saturday, we're going to have a, a kid zone, and from noon to 5 o'clock, we're going to have an area located near the driving range where kids can come there, and they'll, we'll have autograph signings with some of the players. We have face painting and different crafts going on, and we have a little miniature golf course going on, miniature golf game that will be going on, and also uh, Cassie the Sea Lion is going to be making an appearance from Atlanta, so people can... Uh, come meet Cassie and, and Petter and, and things like that. So what we're trying to do is expose the community to things outside of golf. You know, if we're just trying to reach the golf fan and, you know, who are interested in birdies and bogeys that are going on out here, we're missing a boat. And we need to expose a, bitter, a bigger part of the community to come out here and see what a beautiful place Atlantis is and what the ocean course has to offer, but um, also things to do around a golf tour golf tournament. Um, we have free admission and free parking all week long so you know families and, and people can come out here and, and enjoy a great afternoon. It's just a beautiful setting as you can see and just come out here and have some different activities outside of watching golf. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.